Let's try out this Vever ultrasonic cleaner on some electrical parts. While I was recently at a ham fest, I picked up a Holocrafter SX99 shortwave receiver to restore. 70 years of dirt on it, I knew it was going to need some serious cleaning. So I reached out to Vever and they sent me this ultrasonic cleaner. This is the 10 liter model. I'll put a link in the description so you can look at the specifications. They have other sizes and prices are according to the size. For a solution, I like to use my own. I use 9 quarts of water that I've already put in the ultrasonic cleaner, 2 quarts of distilled vinegar, a quarter cup of citric acid, and a couple drops of dish detergent. We'll go ahead and pour in the rest of the vinegar. Sprinkle in the citric acid. And just a little bit of dish detergent. We're going to set the temperature to 55 degrees Celsius and then we're going to go ahead and let it run for a few minutes to dissolve the citric acid and mix everything up. So now let's take a look at the parts we're going to try to clean. We have some variable resistors, a PCB board, see if it can get the flux off of it. A dirty screw terminal. This switch has got a lot of gunk on it, so we'll see how I can take it off of it. And these knobs are always hard to clean, so I'll be interested to see how well they do get in the creases. Hopefully it doesn't take that line off, but we'll see. And these selector switches are always a pain to clean. This one has a lot of black carbon built up on it, so we'll see if it can get that off. And then some assorted screws and other pieces. Now that our solution is ready, we're going to put our items in our basket to clean. Bever also includes this little screen ball for putting small items in, which is perfect for screws and nuts. Just place it in there, close it up, and put the little flap down. We can just hook it right here on the basket and set it inside the basket. Lower the basket down. You want to make sure that the water doesn't come above this line. And you want to make sure everything is covered with water. Now I like to set it at 55 degrees Celsius and I'm going to run this for 15 minutes and we'll see how it does. And now it's done, let's take a look at the parts. You want to be careful because it is still hot. But luckily we have this basket. We don't have to reach down into that hot solution. Give it a little shake. Now bring the camera closer so you can see. So first of all, let's take a look at this. That come out pretty nice. Aluminum's clean. Now, of course, it goes without saying, you'll want to let these completely dry before you try applying power. PC board. This is something you wouldn't normally think of washing, but as long as electric's not applied to it or there's not electricity stored in it, it'll be just fine. It's done a pretty good job getting some of that old flux off. Definitely would be a lot nicer to work with now. Now, a big one for me is these knobs. These old knobs are so hard to get clean with a brush. You think they're clean, you dry them off, only to find out that they're still dirty. So let's grab a rag and dry this off. A 
We'll set it back and let it air dry for a little bit and we'll take a look at that in a minute. This was nice as quarter inch plug connector. It was really filthy down inside and it came clean. As well as there was rust on these washers. I'll take it apart so we can take a look. Didn't quite get in there, but it was trying. A little wiping it off, and look at that, it comes right off. I'm pretty happy with that. That comes pretty clean. If I can hold on to it. This mic connector, it gets down into grooves, it gets that clean. Gotta get this off my fingers. Even the RCA connectors come out pretty good. Now you will notice it did take the white line off of this knob. That's not a problem. I could paint it back in. But if you don't want to try to paint that back in, you might not want to clean this with an ultrasonic cleaner then. Screw terminals are looking like they're brand new. They come out really nice. Switch has still got that gunk on it, but it is just wiping off now. So it might just be a matter of wiping things down once you pull it out of the cleaner. That looks much better. The selector switch does look cleaner. Let's take a look at the one that had all that carbon buildup. If you remember this had all that carbon buildup on it, you can see it's removed it. So that is much better. And we'll take a look at these screws. Then we put in the little basket. And they were really rusty to begin with. So if we take a look at them, they're really clean. It did a really good job cleaning those up. This washer was just covered in rust. Now there's no rust on it. Now let's go back and look at that knob. Pretty happy with that. Definitely much better than sitting there with a brush cleaning it out. Definitely faster to clean everything. So I'm really pleased with how the electrical parts come out. Make sure to air dry them so rust don't get started on them. You don't want them flash rusting. And make sure that you get them completely dry before you start applying electricity. Now that we've tried that, let's try something a little harder. Something that everybody deals with, dirty wrenches. So let's grab a few of the worst ones here. You can see that this one's got some kind of gunk on it. I don't know how well it would do trying to get that off. It looks like some kind of epoxy or glue got on it. And then the rest of these are just dirty and rusty. Rust build up and dirty. Let's throw them in there for about 10 minutes and see how it does. Pull our basket out, give it a shake. Let's load it up with some wrenches. Let's add a couple more. There we go. We'll place the basket back in the solution, put the lid on, we're going to leave it still at 55 degrees Celsius, and we'll run it for about 10 minutes. Now that it's done, let's take a look at the results. All 
All right, these first couple of ridges I threw on the top of the last, they weren't that dirty. But now they're looking brand new. All right, this was the wrench that had the guck on it. You can see it is coming off. Still have to scrape it off a little bit, but you couldn't even scrape it before. Probably just brush that down, maybe run it through again. Get a little scrape there with the finger now. Yeah, that's coming right off. Don't even have to run it again. Yep. Wow, that's really nice. As far as the rustiest one, it still has some rust on it, but it is clean. Probably just need to soak it overnight in some vinegar. So can I recommend the Weber ultrasonic cleaner? Yeah, if you're restoring old electronics that are always filthy, or if you work with tools, it's great to just throw them in there. It's definitely a time saver. So I would definitely recommend it. So I'll put a link in the description below where you can get yours. So now I think I'm going to go ahead and clean some more wrenches, but you don't have to sit through that. So thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. Thanks. Let's do a whole basket full. Quick note, you only want to run this for about an hour max, then let it cool down for a while. We're going to set this for about 20 minutes and see how that goes.